Good evening, guys. It's Greg again. What's up? How's everybody doing tonight? Um, so, it's uh, time to review the uh, latest um, New 52 uh, directed DVD movie, um, Justice League vs. Titans. Now, before I get into my actual review, I just want to address something, okay? For any person that claims that this movie was garbage, crap, somebody shit on it and took up and peed on it afterwards, they're dead wrong. Now, that comment was uh, more specifically directed to um, Next Gen Striker. And hey, dude, if you ever get to see this, I just want you to know, whatever movie you watched was a hell of a lot different than the one I seen. Because in my opinion, guys, this movie was perhaps the better of the Jet is Link New 52 movies. Perhaps the best one it that's yet that's come out of the series so far. So, the, the, the movie starts with, uh, um, Batman and the rest of the, uh, Justice League lineup that they use in this film. This one include Batman, uh, Wonder Woman, Flash, and Cyborg, um, and Superman, of course, taking on the, uh, Legion of Doom. Consisting of Lex Luthor, um, Grundy, and Time Wizard to name a few. So, here they, here they all are, kicking the Legion of Doom's ass, and to have an epic and really nostalgia type feeling of a, of seriously, an old pal that you would see in the original Justice League cartoon that used to air on Cartoon Network. And it was vice versa that way for the Teen Titans role in this. Now, a bit more on that later. But it literally felt like they took the best elements of both of the original series and added it to this. So, anyway, um, the, the, the Legion of Doom is uh, pretty much all washed up. And then um, Flash uh, kind of beats up the Time Wizard. But then he looks like he's almost gotten possessed by some demon that tries to, that warns them that the, that, that the hour of a certain person's arrival will be coming within within the hour but before they can get any information on him um flash or wonder woman or i forget who exercised the demon exactly but the demon is re released from time wizard's body and uh obviously you can't remember anything afterwards because it was an actual possession. Now, Damien's role in this, and which, by the way, yes, he's still Robin, but I feel as though he took on the role of the uh, version of Robin that we saw in the actual Teen Titans. Now, to give a little into way here, it's not the role that he played in the original show Teen Titans, but Again, more on that shortly. Um, so, he basically doesn't do what Batman wants him to. And then as punishment, he basically gets sent to, um, this, uh, to Titan's Tower. Which, uh, again, pays huge homage to how the original setup looked. It's almost exact, really. Um, but... Anyway, this is to kind of try and teach Robin what it's like to be on a team. And at first, he had got, he rejects it fully. But then, um, 
But then he swore at me, Jerry, but I still put on the, oh, I don't want to be here, this is beneath me, kind of gag. And everybody except Blue Beetle on this, because remember, Blue Beetle wasn't a part of the original lineup of the Teen Titans animated series. Um, everybody in this movie actually portrays their own roles quite well. And for a plot twist here, um, Starfire's actually the leader of the team instead of Robin. So, and she almost takes on this, uh, motherly, fa motherly facade of trying to let everybody get along and saying that they have to bond and learn to accept each other because they're all there for one reason or another, so they all need the help. And then... We, we eventually get to the point that um, Ra Raven figures out that it's her father, Trigon, trying to escape from his prison um, to cross over into Earth's living realm. And to do this, how he does it is actually quite brilliant. Um, well, first he tries to take over Batman um, at the late decide that Raven's too too dangerous after sightings of Trigon's mercenaries which are charged to kidnap Raven and um, show that carnival they're all at and uh, they decide she basically must be isolated. Um, well first of all let's uh, bad check a bit. Um, they they take possession of Superman first, and he basically builds the first half of the world Trigon will need to cross into the living world. And then, um, obviously, like I said, they say Raven must be put away, and then the rest of the team along with Robin says no, and then Raven says, ah, shoot, won't. Well, one of the mercenaries are here to kidnap you guys and take you over. Well, the only one that manages to escape it right out the bat are, is Batman. Um, and everybody else has to be released from the demon's control by the rest of the Titans. Um, and, uh, to, to get to the climax here, um, uh, obviously, Raven is eventually forced to go and be the portal for her father just in, a, in an attempt to save her friends. Um, she agrees, and she basically releases Trigon, but she's still determined to try and find a way to stop him. So, she uh, basically takes um, everybody back to the incarnation of L that's been represented in this movie and uh, basically shows them the prison that's basically been contained Trigon since the day Raven escaped their doom home of Azeroth and what it is is it's that crystal that Raven always used to keep it at the top of her forehead so after some Fighting with between the Justice League and Trigon, plus the Titans with the, the rest of Trigon's servant and L, Raven manages to construct a bigger version of the crystal and reseal Trigon back into it. Um, and at the end of the movie, obviously, everything's fine again, and Batman and the rest of the, the League says, all right, guys, you did a good job, and basically move on. But one, one thing to note here is that um, we can hear Trigon say very quickly before the last scene, I'll get out of here, you witch. You can't contain me. And then it leads off on almost the uh, cliffhanger that lets you know that there will be another movie at some point, 
considering this lineup because Terra flies in and that's basically where the movie ends. Again guys, I believe that this is the greatest non-Bruce Tim fi film that this new direct-to-DVD franchise has had. So, if you're looking for a bit more of a darker animated movie than what they've been playing out so far, I would recommend this for sure. I hope you guys enjoyed. I give this a 10 out of 10. Because it was just really remarkable. Truly. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more and uh, keep on rocking. Yeah.